Uh, hi, and uh, welcome to uh, Daily Tom Creations. Uh, today, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the Native Instruments free um, plugin, uh, which uh, ends on the 31st of January. It's called the Yang Jin, and it's uh, a kind of stringed instrument, and it sounds a bit like a cross between a piano and a guitar, I think they kind of classed it as. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so that said, you've got until uh, 31st uh, to get this free, along with the um, the coupon for uh, £22 off uh, any other uh, full price Native Instruments um, plugins or hardware, I think. Um, so uh, yeah, so I thought I'd do um, an early uh, an early video because uh, if I put this out on Friday, yeah, you're not going to have much time to get it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I said there's very few presets, and to be honest, they don't really sound dramatically different. Um, and it's a fairly simple um, plugin. That there's not really much you can kind of change. The best thing about it is the uh, is the tremolo feature, which you use with the mod wheel, um, and I can control um, via the keyboard um, these three. Uh, my M32 keyboard, these three items. Uh, so yeah, so I'm in Autumn Wind, which is kind of just... So you can see these notes are different colours. So the blue notes are... Or, oh, the blue notes are a, a single colour, and the purple ones are like a little um, motif. Um, and then the black keys are also... And then these, these kind of uh, magenta, pinky ones. Um, uh, so that green one is a dead key. There's nothing. Where is it? Yeah, that one's dead. Um, and then you go on to these, which are phrases. Which are quite nice. So they just keep going. Uh, Uh, and these red keys don't seem to do anything, so I'm not quite sure um, what they are for, but they don't do anything on my keyboard. Um, so yeah, so what you can also do is, if you use the mod wheel, which is, not said, we'll put it Right, so. Which is a very nice bit of kind of tremolo. So yeah, so that's probably the coolest thing about it. Um, and like I said, you can you can change these presets. So we're in classic. So I'm not really sure there's a massive amount of difference, uh, apart from ambient, which uh, basically has got a bit of reverb. And kind of delay. So yeah, apart from that, um, what's hyped? I don't think there's... There's very little difference. Classic. And then uh, you can actually change the scale as well. So we're in major. So let's change it to, I don't even know what, Aki Bono? No idea. Um, 
personally, I would stick with major pentatonic and C, and then you can change the route. You can actually do this via my, the keyboard as well, the M32. Uh, so the first one is dynamic. Let's see. me or is there not any difference right well that's actually made a difference right and then intensity uh, is the other one so yeah it's not really making much difference is it um uh, and then you can actually go into these um, various other. Uh, so you've got pre delay drive. Let's back the drive up. Makes a bit of difference. Uh, and then you've got the reverb as well. Uh, and then what have we got? Mapping. So yeah, so that's your kind of. Uh, keyboard mapping and then options which uh, after touch yeah I'm going after touch on my keyboard um, so yeah it's so like I said there's not oh there's more there oh mixer anyway. I didn't know this was done it so you've got EQ you've got punch uh, anyway. tape effect Reset that back to where we are. So yeah, like I said, it's quite, I mean, it's, it's free, so, you know, you might as well get it, even if you're not going to, I mean, it's quite good to use with, I've done some lo-fi kind of glow stuff. Um, so it's quite nice, because it is a kind of cross between a guitar and a piano. But like I said, the best thing is that you can... Get that lovely tremolo thing. So yeah, so I've got a track set up with uh, a bit of a love fly glow, a bit of... This is... Uh, where's my jetpack? And uh, oh, I don't know what the one is, I can't remember what it is. Let's yeah, Lullaby Blips on uh, on this one. Let's just quick shifty. So I've kind of turned the, um, yeah, I've turned the balance more towards the marimba and uh, adjust the filter and the brick crusher. Take a bit of a bit of a bit crusher. Right? Um, so yeah, so I've got rid of a bit more of the uh, the crackles, and then I've just got a uh, um, a bit of old uh, crate digger um, going on. So um, yeah, so that. Uh, and I'm at uh, 90 BPM, which is kind of muscles probably usually around about 80, 90. Here we go. I'll do a bit of freestyling uh, and let you hear how that sounds. Uh, right. <laughs>
yeah, it is uh, quite cool, actually. Right, let's try it with some of these. Yeah, so you kind of <clears throat> it does sound better just playing single notes. It's kind of designed well. You would be using two little wooden sticks. They've got kind of like little rounded bits, bits at the end that kind of point up. I think um, like little yeah little kind of rounded mallets. Um, so yeah, so normally you'd be kind of either playing one or two notes at a time. So. Um, so it kind of it does sound better. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna have to um, play around a bit. So yeah, there we go. That is Yang Jin. Um, rather nice um, sounding instrument. So there's not a huge difference between the presets. I mean, there's. Um, this one has more. Um, kind of accents, presets, and that motifs, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, let's try and... Um, yeah, so you can see that's this one's quite nice as well, actually. But like I said, you... you it's a different sort of Some difference is there. Mm, that's what it is. So, yeah, uh, so I'll favor that one. Uh, and let's have a look at some. This. There's not, uh, well, I suppose it's just the nature of the instrument. Uh, and like I said, you can obviously muck about with these, but, uh, um, well, yeah, I suppose there's some different scales, and so that's ambient pedatonic. So let's just have a wee look at this one. That's classic major pedatonic. Moon Lake was relaxed pedatonic. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, so they're really just changing those uh, golden scale. What the f uh, 
Right. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, it's just a quick overview, uh, just to remind you that uh, this is running out because um, um, I wasn't exactly sure when it was going to end, but I have read that it is the 31st of Jan, so you've got uh, approximately, uh, when does this lot load tomorrow, 27th, so yeah, so you've got about four days um, to get it, and uh, you might as well, uh, and uh, like I said, you have to use complete control, um, obviously because it's a native instrument plugin. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. Uh, plus, like I said, you do um, you do get the other voucher uh, as well. Um, so um, it would be worth using that up as well when you get uh, 20 quid or something. Um, like I said, I would recommend uh, either Lo-Fi Glow or Ethereal Earth or Analog Dreams if you don't have any of those already. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you uh, next week. Bye.